Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Before starting the video, if you have not subscribed our channel till now, then please subscribe it. This video series will help you to learn Spring Advanced features. In this video, we will see what is Dispatcher Servlet. Dispatcher Servlet is the class which manages the entire request handling process. Like a normal servlet, Dispatcher Servlet also needs to be configured in the web deployment. Descriptor web.xml. By default, Dispatcher Servlet will look for name Dispatcher Servlet.xml to load the Spring MVC configuration. Here is sample code. Let's implement. Let's create new Maven project. And select artifacted as a web app. Click on next. Enter some group it so group it is nothing but project structure and artifacted is a project name. Click on finish. The project created and project starts downloading. As you can see inside JSP giving some error it is like HTTP servlet is not found. So let's add an additional dependency from Tomcat. To add new jar file, click on project click on build path under build path configure build path. Under libraries click on add external jars. The HTTP servlet related jar you can find under Tomcat. Search the jar file under lib folder and we need to add servlet API jar file. Select and click on open. Now click on OK. See error gone. Now let's add some command to run this project. Click on the project under run as click on maven build. Under goals, you can use this command so the benefit of this is like you can directly run the project. So here is the command. See project starts to run. See run complete, you can see under log URL also there. Let's copy URL and open it in the browser. See as output comes as hello world. Now let's the search for Spring Web MVC dependency. Let's select version 4.0.1 and click on that link. Let's copy this dependency. Let's paste it into Palm XML file. Now let's add dispatcher servlet related code in web XML file. I hope you know the legacy code when we create a new server and to map that we need to add code for that servlet in web XML file. The same way we are adding dispatcher servlet mapping code. So this dispatcher servlet is a part of Spring Frameworks so we don't need to write any legacy code that's why we use the framework. Let's open this class. As you can see the documentation you can go through that. As you can see we have given a servlet name dispatcher. So we will follow kind of naming convention. For configuration XML file name starts with the dispatcher file created. Let's search for namespace like Spring Beans context namespace. Let's open Spring documentation. Let's search for context. Here it is. Let's copy this and paste it into configuration related XML file. Here are the common steps to configure the web application. First we will add view resolver. If you already watched Spring Core video then cool, otherwise watches it that will help you to understand. 
Here I am creating a new beam for view resolver. There are so many types of view resolver provided by Spring you can add anyone. I am adding internal resource view resolver. Let's open this class. As you can see some JSP JSDL. With the help of this, we can easily integrate with JSP. Under this let's add JSP related properties. Like view class. Prefix and suffix. Like whatever path we gave for prefix, so the same pattern. Let's create a folder under web app so this folder will contain all the JSPs. Let's create new JSP file called welcome.jsp and add some message. Next, we need to add context component scan that will contain base package detail and it helps to identify component classes like controller, service, repository. Now let's create a package with the same like we have given. And create a new class under controller called welcome controller. Annotate this class as controller. Now let's see how to map that JSP which we created, what code is required. I hope you know this basic code. That's it for this class. Let's look for the JSTL dependency. Copy and paste it as palm XML file. Now let's add simple code to index JSP file. This is like we adding so when the application opens automatically redirect to welcome page. Add some print log. Let's run this. Run successfully. Let's open in browser. See the welcome message is coming. As you can see controller log also is there. Observe the console log it helps you to understand the flow in a more clear way.
Let's review whatever we added. I hope you like this video then please subscribe our channel.